Presley and Elvis, I'm awfully glad to uh, take this opportunity to talk with you a little bit. Well, thank you very much, Bob. It's a pleasure, too. And uh, uh, is that your wife over in the corner? That is my wife, Joanne, yes. Woo! <laughs> <laughs> now, Joanne will be the envy of everybody at the platter party tonight. She has been wooed at by Elvis Presley. And I thank you, Elvis. I agree with you, incidentally. Sure, I do. Uh, you know what? I was impressed, first of all, when I saw you. Uh, you're a taller boy than I had figured. How tall are you, incidentally? Uh, even six foot. Are you? I had uh, not pictured you as uh, quite so tall. You, uh, what sports have you indulged in any when you were in school? Uh, well, I tried to play football and I never could make it and I was very good at it. So I... Gave it up for the get fiddle slinging, huh? Yeah. I don't, I don't blame you a miserable bit, not uh, as well as you've done. What I would like to uh, find out from you, I know that uh, probably your tough problem uh, on these tours is uh, getting enough rest to... Uh, to do the job you do on the stage. How do you manage the confounded rest on these tours? Well, I, I don't. In fact, I don't any of us get much rest. We just, uh, and it's a lot worse when you, when you do two or three shows a day, three and four. We do, we do four sometimes. So you just have to catch it when you can, is that right? That's right. And, uh, and then usually when it's all over with, there's a lot of people around. And, and you just don't get much rest at all. So uh, just between tours, you've got to climb in the sack somewhere and, uh, and rest a little while. Is that the idea? Yes, that's right. We average maybe four or five hours a night. Where do you call home now? Uh, Memphis, Tennessee. Memphis. Your parents up there now in the nice big house you bought them? Yes, sir. Good. I heard a lot about that, and it's a fine thing. Something else I heard about, too, at a piece of your property, I heard the bad luck you had with the Lincoln over in Tampa. Is that true? About uh, in the garage? Oh, uh, that wasn't too bad. They, uh, some of the kids got my gas cap and some of my cigarette lighters, but that was the fault of the garage. I see. Somebody said they got in the uh, hubcaps, too. Is that not true? No, that's not true. Oh, am I so glad. I could just see you buying four hubcaps for a Lincoln. That would cost more than the car I drive, believe me. You well, proud of... Go ahead. The, 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 I think the Continental hubcaps are $50 each. <laughs> that's $200 for a set, you know. Wow. What's this uh, $350 hood ornament you were telling Ann Rowe of the same Yes, uh, about? the ornament on the, on the Lincoln Continental is $350 because uh, it's white gold plated. Yeah. Wow. Listen, the one thing I did want to check with you on, I know you don't get a chance to keep up with things too much uh, when you're on the tour. Did you know that uh, Ed Sullivan was injured in an automobile accident the yes, other night? Yes, sir. I read, that, I read that in the paper. It is. Uh, he is not going to be able to make his show until the 19th of August. Is that right? That's the first one he'll be able to make. Yeah. I thought you might be interested in that. And when are you due uh, on the Sullivan show again? Uh, well, my, uh, my first one is September 9th. 9th, huh? Maybe have a new platter out for Victor by that time? I doubt it. You doubt it, really? I shouldn't have, because uh, I just, just had a release. See? Oh, yes, and you've done pretty well with it, too. Over a million copies in something like two weeks for Hound Dog and Don't Be Cruel. Is that right? Yes, sir, yeah. Right. Three gold platters you've got yourself now for Victor, and I, I think it's a fine Four. thing. Four! Excuse me! Four. Uh, I got one for uh, Heartbreak Hotel, yeah. one for Hound Dog, one for I Want You, I Need You, I Love You, and one for my album. The album, too, has gone over a million. Yes, sir. No kidding. That's almost fantastic in the record business, isn't it? Well, Elvis... Uh, there are a couple of other things. I saw in the paper night before last that uh, Hal Wallace is thinking of starring you in a picture with Jerry Lewis. Had you heard that one? Jerry Lewis. With Jerry Lewis. Had you no, heard it? I, really? I, I hadn't. Been... Well, uh, uh, there's something for you to think you about. Know, Dane and Jerry broke up. Yes, that's true. So? I heard something about uh, that, but I mean, I, I wouldn't, I don't think I'd... <laughs> <laughs> What's the mean? What do you mean? I don't know. You don't think you and Jerry get along? That's Dean Martin. <laughs> well, it's not that, but it's sure. that's Dean Martin, and, and it'll always be mm -hmm. Dean and Jerry, nothing else. Well, I uh, sort of agree with you on it. Speaking about uh, partners and uh, enemies and so forth, uh, what's the Pat Boone situation with you? You know Pat. Well, uh, I know Pat very well. Uh, I didn't know anything about any, anything like that, except when I read this radio TV mirror or whatever it is. Yeah. Well, they said uh, Presley and Boone battled it out. Well, that's, that, that's, that's nothing, I mean. Uh, Pat Boone and I are very good friends. And you're not fighting with Pat Boone Never. Now. Pat's one of the nicest guys I ever met. I'm, I'm sure he, I, mean, I don't think he'd say anything bad about me. You know? No, I think the only time you've crossed swords on songs is Tutti Frutti, isn't it? The only two that you've, uh, the both well, of you have cut. Both of us had a flop on it, so we didn't have anything <laughs> to fight about. Either. Good. Okay. Well, we've, uh, we've had quite a time here with Elvis, and he's getting ready uh, to take off, I know, and to finish that lunch, I guess, uh, he had here. Well, I, I didn't have enough. They didn't bring me but one sandwich, and that, that's, that's just an appetite.